Hey everyone, I'm John. And I'm Anne Marie. Ready for a tip to help improve your English? This tip is going to help you sound like a native English speaker. Remember, there's nothing wrong with having an accent, but it is good to practice natural sounding English. And that's why today's tip is all about inflection. Some languages have tones built into each word, and English doesn't. We use tones differently in English. That's right. We use tones for emphasis. We call this inflection. The meaning or feeling of sentences can change based on the inflection you use. Right. Like, for example, if I said, you want to go to the beach, and raised my voice at the end, the listener knows it's a question. But if John said, you want to go to the beach, that's a statement. You can tell because of the inflection I used, even though you can't see the punctuation. Something else that happens with tones in English is the emphasis placed on different words. Listen to these two examples. You want to go to the beach. The meaning of this sentence might be that going to the beach is your preference, but not mine. If this sentence was said, you want to go to the beach, the meaning is that it is the beach you want to go to, not another place. Inflection can be tricky, and it takes a while to get the hang of it. But changing the inflection of your sentences as you speak English definitely makes you sound more like a native speaker. If you found this tip helpful, check out our YouTube channel for more tips on improving your English. That's 空中英语教师杂志. We'll see you there.